We're back. It's Hot Toddy, DJ Pork. Todd Pork, you're telling the stories that make me laugh, that make me happy, that make me smile, uh, as you always do on this show. Tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> you're pretty. You are pretty. I don't know. I, uh, I, did I tell that on the air? I don't know. I can't. I, I want to say you did. Out where one of the uh, one of my co-workers was flirting with me and i was just in a mood where i he was not to be was, flirted with yeah i didn't want to approach or be approached by yeah. any members of the opposite sex yeah and that day she had just dyed her hair and she was looking for and she was being complimented by the other kitchen workers and i <laughs> you wouldn't do and it my and my compliment was i once knew a girl <laughs> who took two hundred dollars from me and she had hair like yours true story <laughs> And that was all I could say. That's to all her. you. She hey, just, I mean, if that's all you could get out, that's all you could get out, man. She that's, gave me the open mouth face, though. The, uh, <laughs> only there was like this this kind of tint of disgust with with it. Can you can you tell that story about the guy the who guy. that did that face to you? Uh, nah, we won't tell. Uh, that we won't tell because I mean, he he almost was a public official, so we don't want to. He we, was no, he was no cane. No, no, but who is though? Who is when, is when is that election? Uh, this November, I think. Uh, oh, he has he has time to can't. We have time <coughs> to uh, hopefully people have time to see the to stop and think for a moment. Like I'm they voting won't. for a wrestler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no you know there's no Democrats in the race. It's all Republicans. But if you're gonna vote for Republican, okay. vote, vote for somebody that has a clear idea of how to do things. And not just because they're a wrestler. Yes. Please. Now, like, uh, now, Kane, uh, Glenn Jacobs, he actually does own his own insurance company, I want to say, here in Knoxville. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I think, really don't know anything about him. I think he does own his own like insurance thing, or he owns some sort of business here that involves that. So, I mean, he's got business knowledge, but as we've seen, hiring a businessman to lead a huge group of people... He was the Intercontinental Champion at one point. Yeah. Yeah, but know, that's something. As we've seen. A fake title. Yes. <laughs> whatever. Hiring someone who is a businessman who has no previous political knowledge or office holding whatsoever. Has it worked out so far? Has not worked out so far. It has not worked out so far. So, you know, I'm just saying. Just putting it out there. Take it whatever, however you want. I'm just, I'm just saying to you. Our listeners. When campaign season rolls around and it looks like he's gaining traction in the polls, I feel like this show should post uh, should post video clips of him in the WWE just to remind people, like, hey, you might be voting this guy in. Yeah, remember, just consider it. remember this guy with this mask? Yeah, he's your, he might be your county mayor. Don't forget that. <clears throat> you know, we all have a past, but this is a hell of a past. It's a hell of a past. It's hell of a past. Does it qualify him as a public official? No, it qualifies him as an entertainer. That is the nothing yes. else, really. And nothing else. That's uh, uh, although you know he has business knowledge, but still. That's what I'm saying. It's like I don't, you know, if I can't steer you away, you still vote him for that reason. I mean, it's, I, it's all up to you, folks. It's, all, it's up to you. Um, let's talk about happier things for a moment. Um, Black Panther movie's coming out. Black Panther movie's coming out. You like my hat? Uh, Pat o, Pat O'Brien's. Pat O'Brien's. It's a bar in New Orleans. Did you get drunk in New I, Orleans? I did not get drunk, but I did have a delicious drink while I was down there. What was it called? Highly recommended. Shout out to Pat O'Brien's New Orleans. They are famous, infamous, for something they call the hurricane. Well, and it's is, does it live up to its name? Oh, my God. It's, I got lost in the eye of the hurricane. It was delicious. It's about this high, and it's like it's like a slushy cherry drink mixed with everything under the kitchen sink i mean it's it's delicious and drain cleaner? Uh, and and huh drain cleaner yeah that's yeah yeah drain sink. cleaner is in it yeah not literally under the kitchen sink that's just a that's just a saying that people have everything it's a bad saying it's very misleading well i mean you because know all the cleaning <clears throat> products are under the kitchen sink yeah, some people keep their liquor under the kitchen sink too alcoholics <laughs> that's they hide a, it there. That's a that's very, really. very, very solid point, uh, and I'll tell you about that and off the air. But, um, you know, yeah, you know, it's it's a great drink. As a matter of fact, hold on, I'll show it to you here. That this is what it looks like. It's on my hat. That's what it looks like in cartoon form on a patch. 
Oh. It has none. I'll show you a picture of it. I posted it on. Uh, Your hat's normal size. Huh? Your hat's normal size. What do you mean my hat's normal size? I'm just, I, I noticed that I have a very large head. Yeah. And I have to really stretch the tag on, on my hat. Really? Yeah, to make it fit. Seriously. Just to make it fit comfortably. Well, I, I tell you, I think the reason why is because you have so much hair. I don't think it's your hair. I don't know. Because when, when my hair grows, it's hard for me to get my hats on. But then when I cut it, it's, it, it feels normal to do it again. I, don't, I have a large head, though. Well, I have a pretty big head, too. I yeah, know. It's a pretty normal size head. I mean, it's a little pointy. Uh, if it's a little pointy. It's a, it goes up a little bit, and it kind of goes at this little angle here. But, I mean, other than that, it's a normal size. And I think it has something more to do with your hair than it does your... DJ know. Pork has long hair, in case you didn't know that. Yep. And he deals I've been with told that. I look like Jesus several times in my life. Jesus uh, during his awkward 20s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. awkward 20s. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it, during that period that we don't know about. Yeah, the one that's not documented in the Bible. Not one, not one bit of it is documented in the Bible. He was a baby, then he was... <laughs> awkward 20s. I accidentally pulled the phone off the hook. <laughs> I was playing with the cord and... Uh... Uh... <laughs> It's all fine. It's we're all fine here now. How are you? Um, but no, yeah, yeah. It's uh, we don't know. He was a baby. Then he was a 33 year old man that got hung on the cross. We don't really know much in between. Um, that's when they should have done a spinoff series with his brother Jerry Christ. I think that would have been a really great show. Jerry Christ. Jerry Christ. He's a, you know, Jesus was a carpenter. Jerry's a plumber. You know what I mean? Yeah, or or maybe like he's he's ne'er to well brother mm -hmm. who's always like bumming money from Jesus. That's what I'm talking. Yeah, exactly. Like he was plumbers make money. They do. I'd say he wouldn't be a plumber. What, what, uh, it was no. It's like that episode of Family Guy where uh, for a, just a segment of the show, Peter plays uh, Hitler's brother. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing, stuff? Yeah, stuff. Nazi, Nazi stuff. Nazi stuff. Yeah. It, it'd be like that. I can't take credit for the Jerry Christ uh, uh, joke, though. That was from the late, great Robin Williams. He did that joke once. Jerry Christ? Jerry Christ, yeah. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard the, the Jerry Christ. What was Jerry Christ's... Uh, well, it was a stand-up routine. What, what was Jerry Christ's persona, though, in the joke? Uh, I'm Jerry Christ, whatever. I'm Jesus' brother. What do you care? That was uh, it. That was his persona, yeah. He said, yeah, he's a carpenter. I'm a plumber. You do the math. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. I can see it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> because, because he was he, he made the point of thank God that Mary and Joseph only did had the one child because who would want to be Jerry the brother of Christ? Yeah, you'd never live up to that. No, who would want to be the brother of Jesus? And exactly, he's a carpenter. I'm a plumber. And then, well, I guess wouldn't he technically be like a half brother since Jesus' technically, dad is God? Technically, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Watch yeah. Over my oh, excuse me. What?